VCSN and Sports Nightly have landed in the Sunshine State. We're with the Tigers and Mud Hens in Lakeland, specifically Tim McMahon and photographer Jason Ozenbaugh, who begin their spring training series tonight with new Mud Hen manager Mike Rojas. Here with new Mud Hens manager Mike Rojas. How's that sound? That's a title you used to have. How's it feel to get it back? Feels good. You know, it feels good to be back in Toledo and you know, manage the Mud Hens. It's been like 10 years since I've been there, but you know, good memories back then. Hopefully, we have good memories this year. How is it different being back around this ball club now? I mean, obviously a lot of the players are different, but how does it feel to, to be back? What's changed and what's the same? Well, you know, I was gone for a couple of years in Seattle. And it, it's great to be back with Detroit. You know, it's, it's, like, it's like family. They treated me here like family. I've been here 11 years now. And, you know, being from minor league manager to director back to AAA, and it, it feels great. One of the local guys, though, A.J. Ochter, it's someone – who Toledoans know they would love to see again. How is he doing in spring training? What do you see from him, the, the, some of the positives? He do, he's got a great arm. And, uh, you know, he, he's, he's, he's from hometown, and hopefully, you know, he'll be in our, in our uh, bullpen and help us out and win some games. Any places you're looking forward to revisiting when you come back to Toledo? Uh, Toledo itself. You know, Paul Tuckett, and of course, you know, Indy and Louisville. I love the, those, those uh, ballparks. Uh, you know, the league itself is a great league and great ballparks, good cities. Being back here in Lakeland, what do you think of, of how this stadium has evolved and, and changed this year? Tremendously. They've done a great job. I mean, we were back on the other side over there where, you know, we had the old buildings and the old showers and and uh, to come over here and see the, the work that they've done here and adding the new clubhouse and the offices on this side. And you know, they've done a great job. Even the, you know, one field one is a turf field now, the artificial turf. And it's it's been uh, it's been great to see. One guy I want to go back to with the Mud Hens, uh, he's, he's a fan favorite. He was a fan favorite with the Tigers, and, and he's back this year. It's Omar Infante. What's it like to, to be back here and, and be around him again? It's been great. I mean, he, he's having a heck of a spring training, and uh, you know, he's still around in big league camp, and hopefully, you know, if he doesn't hook up with us, that he'll hook up with another club because he's, you know, he's showing up and uh, playing hard every day and doing a great job. One last question. Uh, you worked with Lloyd McClendon before, and most recently in Seattle. Has he given you any words of advice as far as coming back to Toledo and managing again and maybe working with people like us? You know, I've learned a lot of things from Mac over in Seattle, you know, him being a, a great manager and it's a shame what happened over there, but, you know, that's the nature of the beast. And, you know, he's a great baseball man, great baseball mind, ran the pitching great. Uh, and I, I was witness to that because I was in the bullpen as a bullpen coach and learned a great deal from him. And, you know, he says nothing but great things about Toledo. He said a lot of great things about you, too. He said one of the things that we could do to sort of warm up to you is, is bring you a cigar when we do an interview. Is, I don't have one on me, but right. is that correct? Oh, well, yeah. You know, Cubans like cigars, you know, and, and, and uh, any cigar, really, a good one, you know, after, especially after a victory. So <laughs> We'll have to keep that in mind when we get the third Mud Hens victory of the year. Uh, home opener, April 13th for the Hens. Mike Rojas, new manager. <laughs> <laughs>